What is going on everyone? My name is the California Cougar and welcome back to part 5 of our Pokemon of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire Team Blaziken Edition. Alright, so last time we made our way down to Dufer Town. We came from Rossboro City. We took Mr. Briney's boat down and we delivered the letter to Steven. We also went back and we got the experience share from Mr. Stone at the uh, Devon Corporation building. So, yeah, we now have that, and we have also started on challenging the gym here. We beat the gym trainers last time. So, real quick before we get started with battling the gym leader here, um, I decided to grind up Wong a couple levels. I got him to level 17, I believe he was at level 13 before, and he also learned teleport. So, teleport... It's not a useful move in battle, but outside of battle, it will help us a lot because it allows us to make our way back to Pokemon Centers basically for free. So yeah, that'll be useful for this point in the game. He also went double team. I think he did that last time though. And then also, while I was grinding, yeah, I beat up on a lot of Zubats and Makuhitas in Granite Cave, but while I was grinding, I picked up a few more full restores. Yeah, I picked up like four full restores during that whole thing. I also picked up a protein, decided to give that to Ragnarok, because it's good for physical attack. And I also gave the Quick Claw to Ralts here. So, yeah, let's get started. Let's go ahead and battle this gym. And this is Brawly. He is Duford's gym leader. And he is the fighting type gym. So... Here we go. Getting right into this battle here. Leader Brawly would like to battle. So this first Pokemon is going to be Machop. So Machop has the moves Bulk Up, Leer, Karate Chop, and Seismic Toss. The move I'm scared of here is Seismic Toss. Seismic Toss is a move that will do the same amount of damage equal to the user's level. So if he uses that on me, it's going to do 17 damage, and I only have 40 HP. So yeah, the good news is it can't critical hit, so that's good. But we're just going to go ahead and hit him with confusion right away. All right, so that did a good amount of damage. And we got the confusion. Nice. Oh, hurt yourself. That would be so clutch. Hurt yourself. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, unfortunately, he's probably going to use a Super Potion here, but that's okay, because we're faster. There we go. So we'll just hit him with Confusion again. Alright, and we should just be able to hit him one more time, and there we go. And Machop's going to go down with no problem at all. Yeah, if this thing gets up a couple bulk ups, it can be really scary. And then Karate Chop has a high critical hit chance, so yeah, that's very scary to deal with. And then, of course, Seismic Toss, I already explained. Leer lowers defense. All right, so next, he's going to send out his Makuhita. Makuhita is at level 18. It knows the moves Bulk Up, Knock Off, Arm Thrust, and Sand Attack. So we're just going to hit him with Confusion here. It's another Fighting type, so it'll be super effective. Nice, did a little bit more than half. And we confused him, too. Nice! Oh, come on, hurt yourself. Ah, damn. Okay, well, it used sand attack, so it didn't attack. But it lowered my accuracy, so that could be really annoying. Damn it! Of course. Oh, and he's already out of confusion. Okay, well, he's going to use knockoff. Knockoff is a dark-type move, so it will be super effective. But the good news is it's really weak. It didn't even do that much damage. And it's also a special attack Makuhita, in this gen. Makuhita has pretty terrible special attack, so... Yeah. But yeah, there we go. We are going to take this thing out, and that is going to do it for this gym battle. Yeah, Brawly didn't give us any trouble at all. I probably didn't need to level up, but I decided, you know what? I'm not going to risk anything. I'm going to level up here. So yeah, there we go. And just like that, the gym's lights are going to come on completely. And we are going to get the knuckle badge from Brawly. So that is our second badge. Makes every Pokemon up to level 30 obey. We can now use Flash as well. And we also get TM08. This is the TM for Bulk Up. 
Bulk Up is a move that raises both physical attack and physical defense. And while I think Combuskin can learn it, he actually learns it by level up, so I'm not going to teach it to him right now. But yeah, that was a fun little battle. It was really easy. We almost got through without even taking a hit. If, if Makuhita had just hurt himself in confusion, or if I had just hit him the first time without missing, then yeah, we wouldn't have taken any damage at all. So yeah, that was very close to being a clean sweep with no hits. Unfortunately, we did get hit by knockoff. You also saw knockoff knocks off your hold item, so Ralts lost his quick claw there, but thankfully it's only temporary. Whoops, wrong button. I meant to go to summary. Yeah, thankfully it's only temporary. We still have it. It just knocked it off for the battle. That really only would have been a problem if Ralts were slower than Makuhita, but he's not, so yeah, we don't have to worry about that. But now, we're pretty much done here at Duford. Like, yeah, I could go back into Granite Cave and use Flash, but there's really no use for that right now. Because I actually need a bike in order to explore the rest of the cave. So, we're going to go ahead and make our way over to Slateport. So, we're just going to go through Routes 107 and 108 here. And I believe 109 as well, if I remember correctly. Yep, 109 as well. And there we go, he's just going to drop us off at the beach. And we're going to visit Captain Stern and deliver the Devon Goods. So yeah, we are now in Slateport City. Or actually, technically we're in Route 109 still. Alright, so I believe one of these guys is a trainer. I don't remember who. Okay. Okay, yes, he is a trainer. That's what I thought. Alright, so this guy, he's going to send out his Machop, and we just battled one of these things, so just give it a confusion. That's going to be easy enough. Aw, oh, it didn't die. Damn. Alright, but there's Karate Chop. Yeah, look at that. That did just as much as Knockoff did to me from Makuhita, so yeah, it's a pretty powerful move. Ralts doesn't have the best defense in the world, so yeah. And that was not a crit, by the way. Alright, easy enough. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and we'll talk to these two. Ah, that's right, she gives us the soft sand. Soft sand is a, a hold item that powers up ground type moves. Alright, I believe there's hidden items on here. There we go, found one of them. Found the ether. Alright, so. Yeah, I think there's another one here as well. And there we go. It's a revive. And there's a couple more here, I think. Yep. One under here. Okay. And I gotta watch out, there's trainers up here, so I gotta be careful. I, think, I know one of these towels has one. Alright, I think. Yep, there we go. There's the other heart scale. Alright, so yeah, this guy's getting his zigzagoo to pick up trash, basically. Alright, so what does this tuber have? I believe this tuber right here is a trainer. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and battle her. Um, we're gonna switch over, let's switch over to Ragnarok for this. Whoops, I keep hitting the wrong button. No, nope, god damn it, that's not what I wanted to do. Because that's going to take me all the way back to freaking Duford Town. Oh well, might as well heal while I'm here. Alright, that's annoying. But yeah, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Thankfully, Briny's back here waiting for us. Alright, so we got to go all the way back to Slateport. Because I hit the wrong freaking button. I hate misclicks. Like, they fixed this in Platinum. So, I'm used to playing Pokemon Platinum. Like, I've been grinding the hell out of that game lately. And, like, I'll kind of show you here. So, in Pokemon Platinum, right? 
Teleport and Summary would be switched. So the Summary is still on top. Teleport is one down. So, like, I'm totally used to Platinum. So, let's take the Zigzagoon's item. Nice, got another rare candy. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't pick any of those up in Granite Cave when I was grinding. But, not a problem for us. So, we'll go ahead and switch to Ragnarok in front. Alright. I believe this tuber has a couple of Azurals. Yes, so Azural. This is the pre-evolution of Meryl. So, yeah. And the thing about Azural is it's a normal type, so Double Kick is going to be super effective. I don't know why it's a normal type and not a water type. I always find that kind of weird. But, yeah. Alright, another Azural. We'll just go ahead and Double Kick again. Easy. Alright. And that's it for her. She's calling for her mommy. And unfortunately, they're not worth a lot of money, these tubers. I mean, they're just kids. Alright. Let's fight this tuber. Alright. Tuber Ricky, this guy's got a zigzagoon. So, we'll just go ahead and we'll give that a double kick as well. And there we go. That was easy. Alright. There we go. Alright, so... I believe we have one more trainer up, so we'll go ahead and switch back to Wong. We'll take his item. Another four store. Jeez, he's racking up the four stores for me. Yeah, they fixed it in later games where pickup like depends on the level of the Pokemon with pickup, like the item you get. So you most often you're gonna get like berries, maybe potions, but yeah, you're not gonna get any rare candies or anything if if your Pokemon is as low a level as Zigzagoon. How did that not die? I mean, I guess it's not super effective. I'm used to battling Machops and Makuhitas, so... Yeah. I mean, he's just going to use Growl, which affects physical attack, and I don't have physical attacks on this thing. Alright, so he's going to go to his other Wingle. I'm a little annoyed that this thing's outspeeding me, considering it's five levels lower, but whatever. We'll just use... Wow, that did not do nearly as much damage. Hey, go ahead, keep using Growl. See how much I care. You think I care about my physical attack? Yeah, that's right, I don't. Sit down. Alright, well, that'll give us to level 18. Oops, move the DS a little bit there. That's fine. Alright, now he's going to send out his Machop. And this should be easy to kill. Just one confusion should do enough. Boom. Dead. Yeah. Oh man, I might have overleveled a little bit. But at least I didn't use my rare candies. Like, I thought about using my rare candies, I decided not to. Because you can save those for later in the game. Alright. Anyway, we got another item here. Great ball. And I think there's one more item on here. Oh no. Not on the beach. You have to actually go into this house here. So... Yeah, in this house, there's a few more trainers in here. And this first one down here is a tuber. We'll go ahead and we're going to switch over to Ragnarok. Let him battle him. Alright. Yeah, he's trying to show us how great his Pokemon are, but not cry in the process. Alright, so he's just going to send out his Azuro. And again, this should be easy enough. One double kick should be enough here. And there we go. And now he's going to send out his Meryl. So, Meryl, I think it has water gun, so i got to be a little wary here, but I don't think it's going to do too much. We'll just use double kick. Alright, easy enough. Still killed. God, double kick is so good at this point in the game. Alright, 
I lost, but I won't cry, he says. Alright then. Okay, so now... Let's see, I'm thinking about... So I switch to Wong here. Uh, I'll keep Ragnarok in. Let's talk to this girl. Boring battles aren't worth the effort. So she likes fiery hot battles. Alright. Beauty Joanna. So we got a beauty trainer here. She's going to send out her Goldine. This should be easy enough to kill. Just a double kick. And there we go. Alright. And we're going to get to level 19. So, yeah, there we go. That's hot, she says. <laughs> yeah, because I just kicked your Goldine into oblivion. Alright, so if you talk to this guy... He says he likes to see Pokemon battles. So, if we can defeat all the trainers in here, he'll reward our efforts. So, we've already beaten two of them, so we'll go ahead and we'll switch Wong back up front. And we'll go ahead and battle this guy. Alright, so this is the last trainer in here that we have to battle. And we'll just go a couple confusions. How is that still faster than me? Whatever. Alright, yeah, he goes down in one hit, so easy enough. Alright, so now he's going to send in Machop. We know how we deal with that. Just one confusion to the face, and boom. Machop goes down. And then finally, he's got a Tentacool, so Tentacool, as we saw earlier, weak to Confusion, so we'll just use that. Nice, and it kills. I actually wasn't sure if that was going to kill, because Tentacool has good special defense, so yeah, but thankfully we beat it in one hit, no problem. Alright, so now let's talk to this guy again, since we beat all the trainers here. Alright, a half a dozen bottles of Soda Pop. Soda Pop is actually a pretty useful item here. Because what it does is it restores HP by 60 points. So we're actually going to take it up here. We're going to switch it with the Paralyzed Heals. And then, yeah, I guess we'll switch these with the... Uh, what should I switch it with? We'll switch it with the full restores. I'm probably not going to use four swords very much at this point in the game. But yeah. Alright. And then if you talk to him again, you can buy another bottle for 300 Poké Dollars each. So, yeah, we'll buy a few more of them. We'll buy like four more. Because they're cheaper than Super Potions and they restore more HP. So, it's always good to come back here and get a few Soda Pops whenever you can. Alright, so yeah, we'll just buy four for now. That way it gets us to ten. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, we're up to ten now. So we got plenty of heal healing items for the time being. So now we can finally make our way into Slateport City. So now, now that we're at Slateport City, there's a couple things we can do here. Um, you can actually fish for... Actually, that's what I should have done when grinding up Ralts. I should have fished for Tentacool, as Tentacool would have been a good Pokemon to train up on. Oh well. So, I believe a couple items you can get here. First of all, take note of the Team Aqua Grunts kind of standing in a line over here. There's a bunch of them. We'll deal with that in a bit. But we'll go ahead and we'll heal our team first. A nice team of four. Actually, does our does Rocket have any items for us? No, he does not. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, a couple of items we can get here. I believe this is the Fo Pokemon Fan Club, isn't it? Oh no, that's the Name Raider's house. So if you go to the Name Raider's house, like he'll rate the names of your Pokemon, and you can change its name if you want. Here's the fan club. Alright, so a couple of items we can get here. I believe if you talk to this guy, he gives you something. 
Alright. I don't remember what he gives us. Oh, okay. So that's what this that's what this guy does. I think he I think he says like if you raise Oh yeah, that's right. If you raise your Pokémon stats, like contest stats, like, it's really weird. Like let's take a look at Wong for a bit. So if you scroll over here, yeah, so these are the moves based on their contest contest stats. So there's Pokémon contests in this game. So yeah, you got smart, cute, cool, cool. So yeah, like there's a bunch of categories. There's like beauty, tough, I think, as well. So yeah. But that's Pokemon contest. We're not really gonna get into that here. I think this lady gives you something. Okay, so yeah, when your Pokemon has high friendship. Oops, I keep hitting the wrong damn button. There we go. Let's try Combuskin. Let's see what, what they say. Oh, there we go. Pokemon really adores you. There we go. So she gives us the Soothe Bell. So what that does is you can hand it to a Pokemon and that'll like, I think it doubles or increases by 50%. Like one of the two, it doubles their friendship. So it's good for Pokemon that if they evolve, like if you need high friendship to evolve them, like Golbat into Crobat or something like that. The Soothe Bell is really good for that. So... Yeah, but we don't really need it right now. We don't really require any friendship evolutions, so we're gonna go ahead and drop it in the PC here. We'll also drop our rare candy, our two heart scales, and our ether for later. And we'll also drop the soft sand in there. We don't have any ground type Pokemon yet, so we'll probably come back and pick that up later. Yeah, always try and make sure we have enough room in the bag to pick up items. All right. So yeah, is there anything else? Okay. Yeah, there are a couple things, I think. Um, one, you can go up here into the contest hall. Yeah, this is the contest hall right here. I believe somebody in here has something. Don't they? Let's see. Okay, no. Aha! There we go. Pokeball case. I thought there was somebody that gave you a TM in here as well, but I might be wrong. Alright. I mean, it's not a TM that we need anyway, so we won't worry about it for now. Alright. Anyway, if you come down here... So yeah, once you get the TM for Secret Power, you can come back down here and he'll like sell you stuff, I think. Alright, and... Okay, so I guess he doesn't sell you anything right now. Energy Guru. Let's see what this guy has. Okay, so this guy has all the vitamins that raise your stats. So we don't have any enough money, so we're not going to worry about that right now. Yeah, this person gives you the effort ribbon once you raise your EVs. Once you max out your EVs on your Pokemon. We'll talk about EVs a little bit later. Alright, and this person, okay, so she has some dolls. Unfortunately, they're very expensive, so we're not going to bother with that right now. Alright, so I think what we can do is we can go here. And if we talk to this guy, and he's Doc. He mentions Captain Stern went off somewhere, and he wants us to go find him. So, we're going to go find him, and I believe, yeah, the Team Aqua Grunts that were waiting in line here are now gone, so, yeah, they're gone. We don't need to worry about them anymore, or do we? Yeah, we actually do. So, we'll go into this museum here. We have to pay $50 to get in, that's fine. Whatever. So, now, if we talk to this guy, alright, he gives you TM46. That's the TM for Thief. 
which is a dark type move, does 40 base power. I could teach it to Ralts right now. Maybe. We'll see. I'll, I'll contemplate it, and then I'll do it in the next part if I feel like it's worth it. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll make our way up here. And make sure you have a Pokemon at the front of your party that's strong. I'm going to put Wong up front because I think Wong will be better. But let's talk to this guy. Yes, that is Captain Stern. But now, Team Aqua is going to come over here. And he's going to try and get all up in our business. And they're going to try and get all up in our business. So, yeah, we're going to battle these guys. And we're going to shut that nonsense down real quick. Alright, so he's going to send out Carvana. So, unfortunately, Carvana is a dark type. So, we have to switch over to Ragnarok immediately. So that we don't get bitten here. I don't know if this thing actually knows bite, but it could. Okay, he does know bite. So, I'm glad I switched. He's a water dark type, so double kick to the face. Should make short work of him. Yep. Carvana has really bad physical defense, so yeah, easy enough. Unfortunately, it has the ability rough skin, so I'm going to end up taking damage from that. Like we saw there. Yeah, if you, make, if you use a move that makes contact, you get hit by rough skin. Alright, so this guy, he's going to send out a Zubat. So this is actually something that we can take. We'll just go ahead and use Confusion. Drop this thing right away. And there we go. Easy money. Alright. Ah, oh, so close. Alright, so he's got a Carvana. We'll keep him in just to level him up here. But actually, we're actually, we're actually going to switch over to Ragnarok. Yeah, it is a water type, but I don't believe he has any water type moves at this point. Yeah, well, he's just going to use Leer anyway. <laughs> so, we'll just double kick to the face. Yeah, easy. Even got the crit. Yeah, we're going to take more rough skin damage, unfortunately. Alright. There we go. Get Wong to level 19. And there we go. Alright, so, yeah, we get these guys out of our way. And look at this. Now we get introduced to this guy. And this is Archie. He is the leader of Team Aqua. Alright, he's like, yeah, you're too young. <laughs> if you ever oppose us again, there will be consequences. And so they're going to leave. So, yeah. And we just, we're just going to hand over the Devon goods to Captain Stern here and then he's gonna leave he doesn't even give us anything in return jerk but yeah so that's all we have to do in the museum there's nothing else here just had to battle team aqua all right so we're gonna go up ahead and heal up our pokemon let's see if zigzagoon has anything no he doesn't all right so we're gonna go ahead and heal up our pokemon and we're gonna end the part right there i think this is a good spot to end the part so yeah Next time, we'll be making our way north of Slateport City into Route 110, I believe is the route. So yeah, that's what we'll be doing next time. And we'll also be making our way up towards the next gym. The next gym is actually not too far away from us. So yeah, we'll make our way there next time. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. And make sure to hit the subscribe button for more content to come in the future. And stay tuned for the rest of this series. And once again, next time we'll be making our way up towards Route 110. And until that next part, once again, my name is the California Cougar. And always remember to stay California cool. Peace!